Another remedy, as I discussed, epigag, uh, constant nauseative feeling, epigag, congestion, epigag, no expectoration, epigag. When antium tart fails, you can think of epigag. Dry, clear tongue along with fusslessness. Change of weather and spring aggravation that we all know, that is Dalkamara and uh, Brionia, when the days are hot and nights are cold. Along with that, we can think of Kalisal and Natramsal. That is mentioned in Keynote. Modalities, especially in aggravation. One thing I would like to share that is that is mentioned in keynote, child not easily impressed when antium tart seems indicated in curve requires heparch. When you already prescribed antium tart, which is not responding by child, in those cases you can think of heparsal. Heparsal, you all know, excessive chili remedy. A parcel, you all know, the slightest wind or cold wind gives aggravation. Window may say, Hulka sa pawn aara hai. So, get coughing or throat infection, especially soreness in the throat is a key of a parcel. Patient aage bolega, mujhe jalan ho rahi hai. Ya patient aage bolega, mujhe soreness ho rahi hai. Patient pain ki complaint nahi karega, especially in a parcel. So that is the key of heparsal when pain is radiating from throat to ear. Sir, I was having pain now it is radiating to ear. Now I was having pain in my throat. The remedy is phytoleca and heparsal. These two are specific remedy. For antium tart is in you can use in the drowsiness phase. Jab bhi due to expectoration nahi aara hai, due to congestion, when patient gets breathless, unka saturation down ho raha hai, or having that giddiness kind of feeling, chakkar aara hai, breathless nose ho raha hai, uneasiness feeling ho rahi hai. In those cases, you can think of this remedy that is antium tart. Patient gets sleepy. It is mentioned in NTM card in Keynote. Another remedy that is Senega. Anyone using Senega in your practice? Excellent remedy. Especially this remedy we are using in geriatric patients. Old aged patients who are not able to expect to run the cough. It is as equal as antium tart and epigate for congestion. <coughs> Thought feels too narrow. Cough often ends in sneezing, rattling in chest like antium tart. It is mentioned in Boric. <coughs> Sensation of oppression and weight in chest, heaviness in chest. Difficult raising of tough, profuse mucus in aged. So you can think of this remedy for congestion without expectoration as well as they are constantly expectorate. Asthenic bronchitis in old people with Chronic interstitial nephritis and chronic emphysema. Guys, uh, bronchostasis ke bahut sare patient aate hoge. Because there is no cure in bronchostasis. Kya hota hai bronchostasis mein? Permanent dilatation of the alveoli. Yes. There is no cure of this such cases. In those cases, jab bhi 
ऐसे पेशेंट आपके पास आ रहे हैं आफ्टर कोविड तो ऑलवेज थिंक ऑफ मेडो रैंडमली यू कैन यूज दिस रेमेडी दैट इज मेडोराइनम फॉर ब्रॉन्कोस्टेसिस स्पेशली आफ्टर कोविड वी हैव यूज दिस रेमेडी क्लिनिकली एंड इट वर्क एक्सीलेंट Another remedy that is antium tart, and the more specific remedy which works on bronchitis, that is kali bicromate. Along with that, typical stringy expectoration. If you get it, it works excellently. If you don't get it, you can use it as a specific. It works on bronchitis. Especially when fibrosis वाले पेशेंट आपके पास आ रहा है इन दो केसेस यू कैन थिंक ऑफ काली बाइक्रोमिक अलोंग विद एंटीम इफ यू गेट एनी रूपरिक फ्रॉम एनी रेपरटरी विच वर्क ऑन रोंक्योल्स यू जस्ट शेयर इट ऑन अवर ग्रुप रेमेडीज वर्क ऑन ब्रोंक्योल्स और इवन इन एलियोलाइन I never get the rubric from any repertory, but I get ki oh, this remedy works on alveoli. If you get that rubric, you just share it to me. Even Senega is helpful for vocal cord paralysis when due to vocal cord paralysis, patient is not able to talk or voice is not clear. हॉर्सनेस रहती है और यू आर नॉट एबल टू टॉक आवाज बीच में चली जा रही दैट इज वॉकल कॉर पेरेसिस गाइस समटाइम्स इट इज रिक्वायर्ड टू टेक हेल्प फॉर ईएनटी डॉक्टर्स आपके पास क्रॉनिक हॉर्सनेस वाला पेशेंट आ रहा है इन बिटवीन आवाज चली जा रही ऐसा पेशेंट आ रहा है आज द पेशेंट टू चेक विद ई एन टी एक बार चेक करवाओ एंड यू विल गेट द Sometimes we are getting polyps on vocal cord, or constant hoarseness, hoarseness of voice. Vocal cord polyp. The remedies are calcarea cap. The remedies is argentum metallicum, thuja, and calcarea cap and costigo. Costigo we can use for vocal cord paralysis. सिंगल मसल पैरालिसिस वी कैन थिंक ऑफ कॉस्टिंग आउट इज द अदर रेमेडी कलकेरिया का पूजा कॉस्टिकम है अर्जेंटम मेटालिकम इवन वी कैन थिंक ऑफ फास्फोरस एंड मैंगेनिक एसिटिकम वर्सनेस ऑफ वॉइस गाइस ओपन मैंगेनिक एसिड आज इतना सन्नाटा क्यों है नो वन इज टॉकिंग एनीथिंग सर हॉर्सनेस के साथ में बहुत फोर्स लगाना पड़ता है बोलने के लिए तो इसके लिए क्या रेमेडी प्रिस्क्राइब कर सकते हैं यू कैन थिंक ऑफ अर्जेंटम मेटालिकम एंड कोका इवन द रेमेडीज वी आर डिस्कसिंग राइट नाउ दैट आल्सो हेल्प्स इज आई एम नॉट गेटिंग मैंगनीज एसिड Would you please spell out that is M A or M E? M M A M A N G A N U M. Right. See, chronic hoarseness. The remedy of chronic hoarseness. When you use argentum metallicum, when you use uh, that costigum, coca, phosphorus, although you are not getting good result, think of this remedy. Worse in damp weather. That is also in manganese acid. Yeah. 
every cold rouses up to bronchitis like dulcamana that is manganic acidity humne manganic acidity ko kaha discuss kiya tha anyone knows ye nahi kiya tha in skin will be discussed yet manganic acidity ko is remedy for uh, atopic dermatitis where the eruptions are on folds especially on elbow folds the remedy is manganic acidicum mangano acidicum cupramacidicum kiya tha nahi kiya tha sorry cupram kiya tha ye magnum nahi kiya tha jahan tak mere knowledge mein okay so manganic acidicum is also there and uh, graphite is also there for such condition रेमेडीजी we use this this three remedy extremely in covid when patient having loss of taste in mouth even you can use this remedy in chronic condition or as well as in acute condition so three leading remedy antium tart epigag and senega we are sometimes using both the remedies together if we get confused Antium tart, epigag, two hundred kds. The result matter. Single medicine, two medicine, that doesn't matter. These two remedies, antium tart and epigag, works on pneumogastric. Now, so epigag is also helps in nauseative feeling, even in hiccup. Hiccup के लिए कौन सी medicine we have discussed? Iosinos and Cajuputum. Yes, you can think of epigag along with these two remedies. Now, guys, Grandelli. जब भी patient आपको बोलता है, he says जब मैं जैसे ही सोता हूँ और जैसे ही लेटता हूँ, I got cough. The remedy is Grandelli. acts on cardio pulmonary disturbance of pneumogastric in dry catheter produces paresis of pneumogastric interference of respiration smoothing after falling asleep asthma condition chronic bronchitis blurred in sputum stops breathing when falling asleep wakes with start and grabs of breath must sit up to breathe cannot breathe when lying down this is the specific symptom of grandelia 